Okay, so there you go, guys. That is the Neotech Farm Mac, which I call the Farm Hack because I had to do all kinds of shit to get it to run like this <laughs> uh, from the factory. Wow, was it an underperformer. Um, so all kinds of problems. Uh, the, the, the intake was all weirdly garbled up. The cylinder was junk. Uh, I think it's wearing a highway cylinder i can't remember honestly maybe maybe just a cheap 20 dollars cylinder I, I can't remember i think it's wearing a highway cylinder i think jason from tristar supply hooked me up with a highway cylinder to port for that thing um uh, so i call it the farm hack the timing on that thing was off the charts, crazy, stupid, ridiculously retarded from where it should be. Not exactly retarded because all of these saws come with an advance from the factory. Um, I don't know the exact numbers. I think that it's probably something along the lines of um, this farm Mac came with a timing advance of about 20 degrees and I changed that to probably about 32 degrees or something. And I'm just guessing here because it was so far gone, I started by just simply removing the flywheel, the woodruff key, right? The flyway, the flywheel key. I removed it completely and advanced it all the way, one entire key. And then that was a little bit too much. And so I worked backwards about one third of a key. Duke. That's and then I just locked it down and that's where this farm Mac is running as far as the timing goes Which means I probably advanced that timing about 12 full degrees uh, So anyways, um, the MS 400 I have to be fair here that thing is producing more power than that um, I just didn't I, At the end of the log there. I think it was getting harder as well as the chain probably was getting slightly dull you know just simply not enough of um not enough to compete with the other ones but then again right after i i i gotta be fair right after the ms 400 i ran the 064 and it got times that were um uh, appropriate for what i have seen with the 064 Okay, so was that chain doll? I don't know. It's suspect. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, what can you do? I'm testing, and these are the results. And uh, we know that the MS400 is not running at tip-top 100%. There are things that have to be done to it, but I still wanted to include it because it is definitely one of my hotter saws. Uh, it runs really, really, really strong. The MS-400 was ported by Ethan Trainer, and um, there's just been an ongoing battle with an air leak that we have around the intake, and I know that it's not at 100%, so it, it is capable of better times than, than this. But, you know, hey, a video is a video, and we're putting it out there. I can't possibly get everything perfect every time. I will say this also, that farm Mac is... Uh, running the same tune that it ran in Ohio at Sawfest five months ago, you know, so so I, I didn't touch it uh, four months ago, something like that. Anyways, I didn't touch the tune on it. I just fired it up. It's still got the same gas from back then, too. Uh, so neither one of these saws uh, were running as fast as they can run, I think. Uh, but... Here's the video, and, and I hope you enjoyed it. The Farm Mac does run exceptionally well, 
and um, uh, I took third place with it in the Clone Wars at uh, Sawfest in October. So it is a good, strong running 372 clone. Very, very good, strong running 372. Uh, however, I do have bigger plans for that saw uh, for uh, Sawfest this year, 2024. Um, I will definitely be doing, I'll probably use the same cylinder because there's nothing wrong with that cylinder, but I have some really advanced uh, things that I will be doing to that saw. <laughs> Ooh, really advanced, huh? Um, so I have big plans for it and what I'm going to do with it to hopefully take first place this year in, in that 372 class, uh, 372 clone class at Saltfest. Anyways, uh, but regardless, even if I don't do anything else to that saw, frickin' runs great. Uh, but it's still a clone saw. The, the frickin' um, kill switch just decided, hey, I'm not gonna work anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know why. But uh, could could have been because it got rained on pretty hard at Sawfest, and um, maybe some moisture got in there and, uh, you know, corroded up the switch just a little bit. But I have uh, a, a baggie full somewhere. I'm not even going to look. Yes, I am. Of these, which these are temporary kill switches. These are the, the, the factory-made kill switches that actually went on Husqvarna uh, weed eaters and brush cutters. Let's see. Off. It, go, it always goes right back to on. So I'll probably put one of these on the farm hack, even though these are like $10 each, something like that. It's a little bit more money than I want to spend on the farm hack, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and the farm hack bests the MS400 by a huge margin. Um, in both of their current configurations, which was surprising as hell to me. I mean, that 400, and you know what? Right now, it just dawns on me. The reason that 400 feels so powerful, because it does. Wow, it feels, it, and it is, it is. It's just not turning the RPMs. I would actually go so far as to say it's as powerful as the Farm Mac. It just because of the uh, factory setups, it's it's limited in RPMs. Um, I guess I don't know. I'm spitballing here. I'm just rolling off the cuff. Uh, but it it feels so powerful, probably largely due to the fact that it's so lightweight. Uh, it's a really lightweight saw, and so whatever power it has is amplified tremendously because there's no heft in the power saw head, the unit itself. So it's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I mean, it really is pulling <laughs> like a freight train. Anyways, um, yeah, that's enough for this video. More to come.